Welcome everyone, in case this live stream works here, straight from Samsung Galaxy S10e over LTE 4G because no amazing upload bandwidth here at home. First live stream from home with, with what I actually did not usually wanted to do anyway. Some late night progress here on the battery hacking. And I wanted to exceptionally go live here because battery is charging and this is the previously bricked one from Apple and if I don't document this now then I don't have this here documented obviously. So what have I done? We discussed this in the other uh, initial live stream and yeah that is the difference between studio equipment in the office and streaming from a cell phone. So we have here all these smart battery commands that we discussed and I suspected that this battery was setting some permanent fail bit there and simply not charge anymore. And this is exactly what we got here, some Linux system log stuff and actually slightly hard to read for myself here. Yeah either through or something the camera. Let's see, so I added here lots of code to the Linux kernel because it was the lowest hanging fruit and this indeed worked. And we indeed have here, so this are the printouts here from myself and we have here indeed these fats are off, so there are different markings Permanent failure is set there, as you can see. Uh, and then this FET, this field effect transistor is both off and permanent failure cell imbalance, just as I expected, just that the last years I've never taken a look at it was always on my wish list to verify this. And indeed you see there's a hex values, I think. Ah, yeah, there's a result zero and 99 hex OA. And uh, these are the hex values of the bits here on the smart battery that you can compare in the specification here. By the way, theoretically, does it work better with more light on? And okay, does not work better. Okay, then we can also switch off the light. If it doesn't make it better. <coughs> so these bits come from the status thing six here. And by the way. We could have used a microcontroller, um, Raspberry Pi or whatever, but maybe the voltage might not be compatible because this might be 3 versus 5 volt or something. Anyway, you see here, these are the status bits that we get out there. Manufacture status 000 hex, uh, 6 hex. This FET, these are the charge and discharge FETs. And, uh, so these are the bits, 16 bits in two bytes here, high byte, low byte, and the low bytes here apparently some static pattern for whatever purposes, I don't know, maybe testing, sanity checking, you name it. And here's a fail status, which I decode here to strings. So this is here the permanent fail bits. Fuse is blown if actually there is actually an error um, otherwise is, is to be ignored because it could be that it's actually not a failure so this is, this is also zero if it's not a failure but if it's a permanent fail then zero zero is fuse blown zero one is cell imbalance failure one zero is safety voltage failure and zero, uh, one one is fat failure like they blew through and uh, here are this nice state states from wake up to battery removed and all the stuff in between, including over current, over temperature, permanent failure, charge, and uh, here is also where's our imbalance, uh, whatever, permanent failure, something, whatever, you get the idea. And so let's check, I think we had there nine actually, yeah, so this is permanent failure was what we were getting. Let's check. 
because I was so nice, I can show you the source code in a second. I can also share this, obviously, but use on your own risk, not that your battery goes up in flames. Actually, by the way, I pre-charged this with a lab power supply, so I'm, I opened the battery, as you've seen, not sure if this works, this probably only works to unbrick the battery if you pre-charge it with a lab power supply, I would suspect. So what have we got here? We got here this safety voltage fail, which bit, bit pattern is this? Safety voltage fail is... Uh, why do I not immediately see this? Reading this through my smartphone lens, maybe not the best idea. Uh, can't do something different. Wait a second, this is cell imbalance. What am I even reading there? Oh, wait a second. What have I read? Uh, where I was even looking earlier? Permanent failure? Yeah, cell imbalance. What have I read earlier? Anyway, so much to hacking here at night on your battery. And then I tried this unsealing because we cannot reset this because it's locked with a password that we have shown here in this. So the, the problem is this is um, the Core 2 Duo, so this is a little bit slow, so this decade old MacBook Pro, I only mostly wanted to do this because I'm still pissed with Apple that my six months battery was bricked by them just with under voltage. And since then I have it laying around and I want to document this here for the public to know that Apple is permanently disabling in calling it a safety feature, but which yeah might be, but still not nice especially as the batteries are not the cheapest end here for people of vintage computing. Um, it's getting more hard by the day to get a working battery, obviously. So this was MacBook, I type in always one hand because uh, hacking. That is just the difference between studio setup and this. So battery was it this one maybe. And we have read here from this amazing 2011 battery firmware hacking, black hat conference paper. By the way, I think he made himself the lives a little bit hard there. I think if he would have used something like the Linux kernel module or something, might have been some days or weeks of work saved here. But anyway, amazing write-up for us anyway. And here is somewhere the default password as documented. There was a unseal. And uh, yeah, also not nice, as I said in the other video, I mailed him already two or three years ago and asked because in this paper he said he wanted to publish the source code, I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. And yeah, I didn't hear back from him on Twitter two or three years, this is why I need to spend here a whole day, the other Saturday or Sunday and this night. So here is the default unsealed password hex 36720414 and apparently the full access mode which we don't need is this famous FF, 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 all bits set. And this password, this unsealed password indeed works. So I implemented here in the ACPI Linux kernel module unsealing and resetting. So this should be visible. Let me just, yeah testing LTE streaming and holding the camera in one end. So obviously this didn't work because of when you program it first, it obviously you have some typo there. So this here are the, also first didn't work and then unloading the module, doing some more hacking, reloading the module, PF status. Um, this is the error code and this is the status. This is some bit pattern we can compare in a second. And then I next implemented indeed here unsealing, so clearing permanent failure. This is my code here. Unsealing, clearing this permanent failure bit and resealing without error. So yay, apparently our password worked. Thanks for that. Thank you for Apple for not changing your default unseal password. And thanks for this amazing black hat research. Saved me probably a week or two of reverse engineering all this stuff. Just Unfortunately, I would have given more thumbs up for sharing this code, but at least I will share this. So uh, we are still charging. We can see, by the way, how much have we charged in the meantime. 
And by the way, next tip, I had to replug the battery. First I was sad, sad and sad and disappointed because it reported here a charge, it reported charge full and uh, yeah, so there it's charging and there's our present one charging, nice lithium iron, 36 degrees, voltage 12 volts, this is more, I pre-charged this with a lab power supply to 11 volt, it actually was really dead, for insurance reasons, I should probably not disclose how dead the battery was, the cell voltage was, um, I think, something as low as 0 0.5 volt or something, crazy low. And yeah, I first charged the cells, the three cell packs there, a little bit with, first with half an amp, then with one amp, and then I charged over the whole cell with uh, first 10 and then later 11 volts, and I stopped after maybe 10 minutes of pre-charging with one amp and then already the first uh, as I said earlier the first light so with just charging this with the lab power supply the first light was blinking already just as I told on the other Sunday Saturday whenever this live stream was one or two days ago and as I said this is not enough just charging is not enough because this permanent fail bit is set and now we have charge now here 500 something micro amp hours or something and you see cycle wait a second this is this cycle count 30 uh, wait a second cycle code 93 this is my cycle count anyway something like that could be accurate could be not maybe it is um don't really want to plug it out now, but maybe we can. So anyway, to show you the code, which I will also share, but again, I will put there a huge disclaimer. All the code is in drive ACPI SBC C, and I have here simply RXR gross hex. And yeah, the reason I can't, can't also stream here, obviously this vintage, MacBook doesn't have a hardware encode, so don't even want to try. Besides, I don't have the up, upstream bandwidth here at home. So I'm near 2 Mbit, 32 Mbit down, 2 Mbit up or something like that. Anyway, so here's the code. And yeah, RxR wide hacking. And I will publish this just for the sake of other people unbreaking their battery. And uh, here I have the unseal faults. I have run this code once because later I I did not want it to unseal two times because I think this would have errored. Oh, this is why right now this is false. I could also further implement there if this, because this um, system status read before there is this value 54 with this uh, op status returns whether we are sealed or in full access mode and we could Run. We should run this unseal then only if this sealed bit is set and then there is this clear permanent failure just with this, uh, this, this bits are from the specification. So this, this there, this 04143672 hex is this unsealed password and this there, these values are the clear permanent failure secret from the Texas Instruments specification there and to my, well, meeting my expectations but a little bit to a surprise it really works so I unbrick myself here maybe a battery and we could actually, can I unplug the power, let's see, Christian, yeah just that we didn't have to do the I square C ourselves so let's see if the Hey, it works, it doesn't turn off, so this battery really works. First time I tested this. And um, can also take the battery out, so certainly slightly fragile here. The good thing is I didn't have to do the I, I square C stuff myself. Um, just with one hand can we get this out here. Ah, super professional 
one hand and phone the other hand. Ah, come on. One second. So, this is here indeed this battery cell that I had opened, so not faking this with some good battery. You also see this here from this status. And yeah, so now we should, and by the way, I on the other video, I actually said something wrong. I said that this is the thermal fuse uh, that is there in the specification and in this blackhead paper, but this is not the this thermal fuse thing, this is actually, I think, the temperature sensor, I think, at least. And how much charge do we have now? So yeah, saved 82, whatever. Yeah, so now it's not blinking anymore. Before it was blinking ex uh, excessively. So this theory of mine completely worked out. Finally, I've done this, should have done this three years ago already. But this is what we are here for the... YouTube live streaming now, I will continue charging the battery and certainly I will not leave it in. Actually, it's slightly warm, obviously, from charging with how much have we charged there. I think this charged more than I charged with the lab power supply temperature, 36, ah, 100. So there you see why I have this camera, tripod and everything in the office because it is no fun to live stream with a smartphone. So what was the charging average? 2.4 amps, I think. And in the office I was charging at a maximum of uh, one, I think, one and a half amps or something. So yeah, it's just this mystic here. Also documented, maybe I should next um, ask Louis Rossman if he wants to send one of his famous displays over and flashes edit stuff or something and obviously I wanted to document that vendors are intentionally in the name of safety breaking these batteries which I'm really not a fan of. Yes, safety first obviously shouldn't explode but maybe they should have a way to restore this in the store or something or give authorized Apple partners some battery recondition program because in the name of environment and users wallet certainly not nice to throw as uh, and as you see this are not expanded not exploded not nothing and as i said six months old just with not charged on the office desk and yeah probably not the most amazing live stream here from home with my camera in the end maybe i have to redo this tomorrow just wanted to Documents is not that later people say this didn't happen because I didn't have video footage with this. It is time to say good night. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I hope